right today we come to john 11 verse 25 where we learn about another i am statement of jesus so let's read it jesus said to her i'm the resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die do you believe this now the statement that jesus gave he was having a conversation with martha on the way to raising Lazarus from the dead. We know that Lazarus had been dead for a couple of of days and he had been buried uh, four days in. And so Martha is having this conversation with Jesus upon hearing that he's in town. And Jesus says to Martha, he gives this assuring promise that your brother will rise again. And Martha answers Jesus and says, yes, I believe that my brother will rise again in the final resurrection. Well, what Martha didn't know was that Jesus was referring to something that he's about to do. So in the later verses of chapter 11, we learn about Lazarus's resurrection. In scripture, in fact, in the Gospels, we learn about a few people that Jesus raised to life. And we also learn in, in the Gospels that Jesus himself raised to life. So what does Jesus mean in this statement that I am the resurrection and the life. What does he mean? What is he getting to? Well, there are a couple of things that we learn from scripture about Jesus and resurrection. Number one, we learn that Jesus brings resurrection. Jesus is the one who brought resurrection. He's the one who raised people from the dead. Jesus is the cause of resurrection. Nothing else or no one else. He's the one who causes people to rise again. And thirdly, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. In other words, resurrection from the dead and genuine eternal life and fellowship with God are so closely tied with Jesus that they are embodied in him and can only be found in relationship with Jesus. So we can only inherit eternal life if we have a relationship with Jesus. We can only experience the words that Jesus says to Martha here only if we have a relationship with Jesus. Jesus' resurrection has implications to humanity. We know that Jesus was raised again, and we were just celebrating that in Easter Sunday. He is risen. And that carries with it a couple of implications that I would really love for you to reflect on today. Number one, we are alive through Christ. We inherit eternal life because of Jesus. That is implication number one for those that believe in Jesus. Implication number two, death has been swallowed up in victory. The hold that death had on humanity, well, it's no longer there for those who believe. Remember that death separates us from God. It is this eternal separation that humanity experiences from God as a result of sin. But through the resurrection of Jesus, he brings an end to this. Jesus brings an end to this chasm that exists between humanity and God. So for those that will believe in Jesus, they can be reconciled to the Father. They can have a relationship with the Father. That is at the very core of the gospel message, that if we believe in Jesus, though we die, we shall live. Even for those that we, we love, loved ones that have died knowing the Lord, we can grieve resting in the knowledge that we shall see them again. For they live and they are with Jesus. And that is what it means that Jesus is the resurrection and the